That's good. Back out of the on the boat. Here in St. Michael. Let us see if the lights will turn on. Okay. I got the on the boat. We're waiting for the lights to turn on. I'm not seeing anything yet. The lights are supposed to be turning on. The lights for independence. The blue and yellow lights. The lights for independence supposed to be. Yeah. Supposed to be turning on. Are we ready for your lights to come on here at Warren? So this is the eastern side of Warren. First of all, this is the first Caribbean bank headquarters, which was Warren's great house, CABC First Caribbean Bank, CABC headquarters, which was Warren's great house. The lights probably ain't coming on tonight. But otherwise, it will be on already. So, Warren is a business commercial area. This is the Warren area, Warren. Warren's. The Warren's area started to develop into a business and a commercial area from in the late 90s or mid 90s into the 2000s when businesses started moving out of town into the area. So the lights are now on. The lights have now switched on. This is a tradition that we have been keeping in Barbados for the past 28 years. From 1996, we have been holding the featuring lights at our roundabouts in Barbados. Started from the 1st of November, right through to the end of the year. So from November, which is our independence time, into December, which is Christmas time. It starts with a, um, a legend family in town. It started with the Prime Minister of the day, Owen Arthur, back in 1996, when, he will have the, when they will have the ceremony in town, and then, when I, and then somebody will flip the switch to turn on the lights, not only in town, not only in town, but all over Barbados. I remember a time back, Dave Augalotzi and the order to turn on the light. Different people, mostly dignitaries or bigger people, would turn on the lights and they were lighted all the roundabouts, especially the ones on the ABC Highway, which is in this location, ABC Highway, which I am also on a part of the ABC Highway. So, this is a tradition that we keep every year since 1996. This year, the children from the um, Shirley Chisholm Primary School is to turn on the light so Shirley Chisholm has Barbadian roots. She was born in the States, but she has Barbadian heritage. She went to school in Barbados at Vauxhall Primary School. So they renamed the Vauxhall Primary School after her. So this is the CIBC First Caribbean Bank headquarters. This way will lead you back to the northwest and western side of the Warren area, all on the highway. This will lead you back to most of where the businesses are.
That is the reason why I came to Warren's this evening. To do a video of the Warren's area with the lights on at the roundabout. So Warren's is the main hub for our business in Barbados. Most businesses have been moving out of town into the area. This is about to pray smart. I'm back to Green Hill. I'm back to Bridgestone. You see the Warren's Polytechnic here. The unit Gibson Polytechnic, which was originally intended to be a crematorium back in the 70s, but the late Prime Minister Arabaro said it was too close to the road, so he decided to convert it into a, poly, a polyclinic. Mall here, where CIBC has another branch in it. Caribbean back is also a glow. How you doing, Mall again? I will soon conclude this video. Lights have been switched on. We'll do another one and then do another walk through Warren's. Oh, uh, back. You see the Williams Tower here with his head office for digital and barbell.
Thank you guys for watching though and do have a blessed evening.